The Buffalo Bills, we crowned them before the season. Think about it. We thought that this team would run through the AFC. We already had them playing the Kansas City Chiefs, or actually at that point, the winner of the AFC West in the AFC Championship. And then when Buffalo began to struggle, we made all these excuses for them. You think about the stretch they've been through. It's been a difficult stretch, right? You got to leave home early to go play a game in Detroit when it's supposed to be in Buffalo, and you start slow against the Cleveland Browns, but you pick it up. You find a way to win late against the Detroit Lions. We all know the Detroit Lions fight. And then you beat a New England Patriots team that's kind of like, eh, whatever. And so when I look at the Buffalo <laughs> Bills, can the Buffalo Bills win the AFC Championship? Absolutely. Do they have a quarterback that can stand across the field from Patrick Mahomes and say to himself, I can go out here and be tit for tat with Patrick Mahomes based on talent, based on what I can do in the football game? Absolutely, because we've seen him do it. Right now, do I look at the Buffalo Bills and say, hey, they could go to Miami and definitely beat Miami in the playoff situation? I can't necessarily say that. Or say the Buffalo Bills, if faced with playing the Cincinnati Bengals in a tough divisional playoff game, is just going to go out there and beat the Cincinnati Bengals and be head and shoulders above them? I can't say that. The same with Baltimore. I believe the AFC is ultimately cluttered. And the difference between the AFC and the NFC is the AFC has quarterbacks you can rock with, quarterbacks you can believe in. Yes. I could believe in Patrick Mahomes. I could believe in Josh Allen. I could believe in Joe Burrow. I could believe in uh, Tua Tungavaloa. I could believe in Lamar Jackson. And so the Buffalo Bills have a shot, but right now they are not a clear cut above everybody else on level two. And that's what make the AF that's what makes the AFC so exciting going into the playoffs. Well, I think you're. I think you. What you articulated is right on point, RC. Here's my point, and I said this yesterday. To Dan Olavsky, but now I can talk to I, now I can talk to dudes. I don't have to crucify instead of somebody so cheap that he has his wife flying and uh, coach all the damn time. Dan now will not to, catch any strays on this effect. show. I can real, talk to real affectionate brothers because I know Swag Goo and RC wouldn't have their wives and coach. I can promise you that they wouldn't do that unless they, they, they wouldn't do that. Uh, my boys would not do that. They know better. You know what I'm saying? They know better. His sisters ain't having that. Now let's get to the real point here. <laughs> The Buffalo my, Bills. Hey, Stephen A., I ain't yes. going to do my wife that. My wife has flown in coach. My wife will fly in coach. And my daughter, when she was walking to coach, when she was about four years old, she turned to me and she said, Daddy, are we sitting in second class? I said, yes, ma'am, we are. So <laughs> I ain't going to do my wife that. I ain't no, going to no, let you sing no, aloud no, no, like that no, no, now, Stephen no, no, A. No, 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 I'm not saying that. <laughs> what I'm saying is, as an aside, if you don't have it, you don't have it. Of course, we got Rod and Doc <laughs> folks in our life that's going to deal with whatever conditions are necessary. I'm talking about when you get 800% raises and you still being cheap. No, your wife ain't going for that. So let's stop that nonsense. Let's stop that. Now let's get back to some football here, okay? Here's the deal, y'all. The Buffalo Bills... This is why I have them as the biggest threat. I understand Cincinnati is coming, particularly with Chase coming back. T. Higgins, that brother has elevated his level of play. We got to give him some love, okay? And we know what Burrow could do. I saw you and, and, and R.C. praying with one another when they was going to beat Clemson in the national championship game. That's still one of my finest <laughs> moments on television, okay? So we got that. We know what Burrow brings to the table, all right? We understand we can't underestimate Lamar Jackson and the potency he brings to the table. Derrick Henry is back and healthy. We understand that. We see what Patrick Mahomes is doing. But when I think about the Buffalo Bills, here's in Miami. Let me not forget Miami, of course, with the scariest offense because of Tyreek Hill and Jay Waddle. Here's where Buffalo comes into play. I don't think there's anybody more motivated to beat the Chiefs. I understand everybody's mm. motivated. I understand everybody wants it. I understand everybody's going to go on the field and give it all it has. But you guys played at that level. You know what the hell you're talking about. And you know there's a little something extra when a team has been directly responsible for bouncing you out. And one of the things that I brought up yesterday to Dan, in all seriousness, I brought up the bad boy Pistons from the 80s. Y'all will appreciate that. And they kept getting knocked off. You, Boston, you couldn't get past Bird. You couldn't get past McHale and those brothers. And then finally you did it. And McHale and, and, and Isaiah Zeke, you know, giving each other dap at midcourt. Because he was like, yo, you took us out finally. Now go handle your yeah. business. Take these brothers out. There's something a little extra when you can point to a particular roadblock that you can't seem to get over. Now, there's plenty of people that Michael Jordan did that to, and they couldn't get past them. But what I'm saying, Patrick Mahomes might just be that dude when it comes to Buffalo. We're going to find out. That's what I'm saying when it comes to the Buffalo Bills more so than anybody else. 
Cincinnati beat Kansas City. They lost in the Super Bowl, but they beat Kansas City. The incentive to be ready, the key question, in, the key word in that question are the Chiefs. If it's just the biggest threat in the AFC, that's a different conversation. But when you say the biggest threat to the Chiefs, who wants them more? That's the Buffalo Bills. I think everything Buffalo they've Bills, done yeah. is geared towards an encounter against the Kansas City Chiefs. That's what we assumed also, coming into the season. Also this, too, like, because R.C. Point is, is absolutely right about how muddy and cluttered it is in the AFC. And, and I'm with you, S.A. The, the one difference, though, for as much as we talk about Josh Allen and the interceptions that he's thrown or seeing him make some plays where you scratching your head or trying to figure out what's going on, he's the one player to me from a talent level that can ascend to where Patrick Mahomes can go. Mm -hmm. I still feel I like that. that. I think Joe yep. Burrow is phenomenal. Yep. I think Lamar is phenomenal, obviously. Tua is playing at a very high level. But if it comes down to two quarterbacks that got to duel it out, playmaking for playmaking, I'm going to take Josh Allen outside of Patrick Mahomes Over in anybody. those high leverage situations. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.